Hello, and welcome to the Children's Sermon. Have you ever heard anything that is unbelievable? Things that you really couldn't believe would happen? I have something here that is unbelievable. I am going to make a paperclip float on water. And you can try this too. Now, I'll give you a close-up here of my bowl so that you can see what happens. But you take a paper clip. You can go get a bowl and a paper clip too, some water. I'll wait. You can pause it. All right, welcome back. And if you didn't go get one, that's okay. I'll give you a close-up of what I'm doing. You take a paper clip and you drop it in water and try and make it float. That didn't work. Nope, that didn't work that time either. All right, so here we have our bowl, and our bowl is full of water, and we have a decent sized bowl, and this is a paper clip, just a regular paper clip, and when you drop it in the water, it sinks. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this float. I'm gonna drop it in the water, and it sinks. Um, here, I'm gonna put it right there, and it sinks, maybe over by the side. So this is pretty unbelievable, don't you? Don't you believe me that it's unbelievable, that it's almost impossible to make a paperclip float? Well, there's a trick to this. So I'm gonna show you my trick. So first, I need a small piece of paper towel. And you lay the paper towel on the water, and then you lay, well, that didn't work. See, I told you this wasn't easy. You need to have all of the right pieces. So let's try this again. I'm gonna take this and lay the paper towel there, and I'll lay, the paper clip on the paper towel. And then you start working to get the paper towel to sink. And eventually the paper towel will sink away. You can actually take the paper towel out. And now the paper clip is floating. The paper clip floats there on the water. And you can see how it just stays right there. I have made a paper clip float. I am able to do something unbelievable. Something that you wouldn't believe could happen. The paper clip is floating on the water. In today's gospel story, Thomas is told something unbelievable. The, uh, it's still Easter day. It's still the day Jesus was raised from the tomb. That morning, the women had gone to the tomb, and they found out that Jesus was raised. And Peter had gone to the tomb, and he found out Jesus was raised. But the disciples were still fearful, and they had locked themselves away in the upper room. And Jesus appears to them. He says, peace be with you. And the disciples are overwhelmed, but they're also excited that Jesus was there. But one of the disciples was missing. Thomas wasn't there. And so Thomas comes back eventually once Jesus is gone. And the disciples tell him, Thomas, Jesus was there. And Thomas says, I want proof. I want to see the unbelievable. I want to see where Jesus was hurt. The scars on his hands, the scars on his side, I want to see where Jesus was hurt. So a week goes by, and that next Sunday, the disciples still are locked in that room because they were afraid of what would happen to them if they weren't locked away. And all of a sudden, Jesus appears. And this time, Thomas is there. And Jesus says, peace be with you. And he says, Thomas, I want to show you the scars in my hands, the scars in my side. 
And Jesus says, my Lord and my God. He sees that it is Jesus. He believes the unbelievable. Kind of like it's unbelievable that this paperclip is still floating on the water. We too have been given the promise that Jesus has risen from the tomb. We have been given the promise that Jesus will be with us always. And so we too can believe the unbelievable. And we can tell others of what we have come to know, that Jesus loves us and he has been raised from the tomb and given us eternal life. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, thank you for sending your son Jesus to show us your love. Thank you for raising him from the tomb, for giving us eternal life, and for helping us to believe the unbelievable. Help us to share with others this miraculous news. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you so much for coming, and I hope you have a great week.